This bill, if you defeat the amendments, I don't know what it would do. It would do something pretty, pretty awesome in my mind, but, well, I can't tell you that for sure. With billions in surplus, when do we plan on bringing it back to the people that we represent, and what better way than with the children that we represent? All we care about is this human embryo. As someone said in our discussion, we bought and paid for this embryo. It's ours. It's like a pot roast. You put it in the freezer, you can take it out, you can decide what you want to do with it. We're overreaching here, and let's just let parents make a decision. However, when my colleagues and I get accused of not supporting kids, their educational needs, and their nutritional needs, I have to stand up and tell you why, at least from my perspective, I voted against this bill in committee. First of all, all we care about is this human embryo. <laughs> it's like a pot roast. Well, I can't tell you that for sure. The proponents of the bill uh, uh, made a made a philosophical argument for one that this is this is the way our Creator made us. This is not a lifestyle choice. Uh, do not uh, discriminate against us for the people that we love or associate with. But isn't that what humanity calls us to do? Every couple of years, we get in here and uh, starts out with we're going to have baby restraints, restraints. Then we had booster seats. Then it went from the three-year-old to seven-year-old. Now we're going to nine. He mentions 12. Are we going to have helmets and bubble pack too? It's like a pot roast. I've had one. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Franz Vogg. Do the nine year old students have to carry their child protection seat along with them uh, on the bus every morning when they go to school? This is all a straw man argument. You know, if we have the same safety concerns for a child with their parents, certainly this body understands that we have to have the same requirements when they get on the bus by themselves. It's like a pot roast. It takes out the, it takes the entire uh, issue of sexual orientation out of the Human Rights Act. Pretty awesome in my mind, but... You put it in the freezer, you can take it out. I don't know what it would do, it would do something. But that's as far as it goes. It declares a policy but it would not give individuals who felt they were discriminated on the basis of sexual orientation any remedy or cause of action or right to sue uh, uh, another person. Pretty awesome in my mind, but... It's like a pot roast. <laughs> you cannot legislate against stupidity. It's like a pot roast.